This is the Music of the Gilded Age and Lindhurst decorated for the holidays post. Last week I attended a wonderful concert at Lindhurst Mansion, which was gorgeously decorated for the holidays. Lindhurst was built in 1838 in the Gothic Revival style. Andrew Jackson Davis designed it for Mayor of New York William Paulding. It was later the country home of railroad tycoon Jay Gould. Because the mansion was in private hands until 1967, its collection of art, antiques, and furniture are largely intact. That includes many pieces of furniture designed by architect Alexander Jackson Davis for this mansion. The 67-acre grounds, with their fantastic view of the Hudson River, are an outstanding example of 19th century American landscape design. The concert that I saw was arranged by Christopher Brellix, who's creating a series of performances of music from the Gilded Age performed at Gilded Age mansions. Lindhurst is the perfect setting for Gilded Age music. Late last Tuesday's concert included performances by Mr. Brellix on the saxophone, Catherine Sloat on the harp, and John Howell as tenor. My favorite work was an adaptation for saxophone and harp of William Fry's Santa Claus, A Christmas Symphony, which premiered in 1853. The Santa Symphony was the first symphony to include the saxophone, an instrument only invented in 1840. If you go to the blog post, you'll find links to a wonderful clip of music of the Gilded Age concert at Lindhurst and a link to more still photos of the performance. The acoustics were fabulous. I'm very sorry that I don't have a better picture of the harpist. The, uh, I was at the wrong angle, but the one on the left gives you a picture of the ceiling, which is very nice. Okay. Now some pictures of Lindhurst decorated for the holidays. This is the main entrance. When you enter this, you feel like you've arrived somewhere. This is the main hallway downstairs. It includes a neoclassical bust of George Washington, which is probably about the period of the house, first half of the 19th century. This is the dining room. What a lovely place to have a Christmas dinner. This is the upstairs hallway with the upside down hat tree. I don't know if that's an annual fixture or if it's just a one-off. And by the way, there's a Bougaro Madonna just hanging out in the hall. I am not recommending that we revive the Gothic Revival style, but next time you're lying in bed looking at your tasteful flat white ceiling, Think a few unkind words about the creators of the Bauhaus style. There are ways to shape and decorate ceilings that can make a room sing. This incidentally is a bedroom. It's not a chapel. It's just so gorgeous. My personal favorite is this one, bringing the stars inside to you. I love that ceiling. As always, thank you for listening. You can join the free Sunday recommendations list at the URL there, or just email me. You could also support me. I really appreciate it. Starting at $5 a month on Patreon or follow me free there for notices of exhibitions and check out diandrantywriter.com for hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, music, poetry, and my other obsessions.